Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Cobra's Red Ninja from G.I. Joe. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, so are you following along? Are you playing along with the G.I. Joe theme that we're doing here? Um... It's pretty cool, right? Well, hopefully. I mean, I assume that's why you're here. But, uh, it, I, I, and you know what? I, I hate to, well, I love to draw, but I hate to do this one without us even having it or really having access to it. But there's a reason. I'll explain. So, I love these new designs. I love the direction that they're going with this G.I. Joe stuff. It's really awesome. The problem I'm having is you cannot get these toys anywhere and I'm hoping that's gonna change I'm hoping once you know uh, distribution or once uh, the holidays hit uh, we're gonna have more access to this stuff but the problem is right now we don't and it, it kind of sucks it really does I'm not gonna lie um, it, it would be nice to have some of these and so I'm all I could do would go by pictures and these are pictures of the new classified series you know this new line that's out and like I said it, it I I feel bad that I'm drawing something you can't get right now but I'm also thinking of the future that it's possible that you could be watching this when these are all readily available and you can get them anywhere and, and you're like, what are you talking about, you crazy old man? I've got five of these, you know? But uh, at the time, at the time of this recording, and if you're watching it right as I post it, uh, it you can't get these. They're, they're hard to get and uh, it sucks. It really does because they're such an awesome design. So that's why I'm saying, like, I, I really hate to tease you in so many words by... Uh, by, by drawing things you, you can't get, so to speak. But, but uh, it, it's fun. It's really fun to do. So that's, that's why we're doing it. And that's why we're drawing all the time anyway. So even if you can't get one, you know, it, it sucks. But, you know, again, hopefully you can. Hopefully at this point in time, while you're watching this, um, you've got them. You've got, you've got 12, you made an army, you've already, you know, drawn them several times. I just, I'm just hoping for positivity for you. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I hope you got some. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, too. I'm doing like a, a, he's holding his sword up in front of his face. Kind of like getting ready for a fight. So I think I'm going to draw, no, maybe we should do it by hand. Just draw like a... Maybe not. Maybe we should do it with with a, uh, a straight edge ruler. And that's where I was going with that. What I was trying to say is I'm not going to use a ruler. Eh, maybe we should. You know, it'd, it'd look better. So go get yourself a, a ruler, a straight edge, um, anything uh, that you can draw detail with, not detail, uh, a, a straight line with, and we'll 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 get it right. Okay, this might not uh, take too long as far as a sketch. I think I'm already kind of there because a lot of it's going to be detail and there's no point in drawing all the detail if it's just going to be, you know, um, uh, I I'm not a speaker. I I I've said this many times. I I'm not a person with words. I'm a drawer. That's the whole point. That's why you're here, right? So, a lot of times I'm trying to talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't do it. But I'm not a speaker. So, the point is, I think I'm good with the sketch. This is this is doing, doing the job for me. OK, 
Okay. Yeah, because again, look, the detail is going to be in the in the actual drawing. So, yeah. I have a little bit extra just to flesh it out, just to make sure that I do have it looking right. Okay. All right, I think I'm ready to go. Let's, uh, well, okay, so here's the tricky part, too. I don't know what's going on with the face. Like, it, again, because it's a mask, I don't know if it's, if, if this is a cobra on his face or not. It looks like it, but it, it, it's hard to tell because I can't tell if these are teeth, if that's a cobra, or what it is. So we're gonna kind of make it look like a, like a snout, but, Yes, we are going to make it very Cobra-ish. Just in case. So yeah, you know I do need some detail right here, you know, right? Because I gotta, I gotta define the head with this, this band, this Cobra band that's around it. I think that'll work. Let's do it. Let's move forward. Let's get going. Okay. So I'm going to erase some of these lines, but not all of them. Just some uh, some of the sketch lines. We keep the confidence lines. Because uh, I, I want my Sharpie to stand out. If you're working with pencil, you just start drawing darker. You don't worry about erasing. But me, I need my Sharpie to stand out. Okay, so, here we go. Let's welcome everybody that skipped. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a ruler, a, a Sharpie fine point, and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pen's a little finer than a fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, and what's left are a little bit of the confidence lines I'm going to use to guide us on this Sharpie adventure. And um, it, it's going to be a lot of guesswork, because what I talked about in the sketch is that these are based on the new Joe classified series of toys that we don't have yet. So I'm going by pictures, so bear with me. It's, I'm going to have some fun, but it is going to be a little tricky here. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the eyes. I'm going to use a Sharpie pen so I can get the details of the eye, or get the details of the face. And I've got him kind of looking down a little bit, so his head is kind of tilted, so that's why it's going like that. Now, I talked about this in the sketch. I don't know uh, how much is, we're gonna do his mask here, and I don't know if this is technically a, a cobra, or if this is just some kind of snout, but it looks like a cobra to me. So. Um, let me draw some of the basics and then we're going to add the lines in. And so basically, I'm going to try to draw like a cobra looking snout is what I'm going to try to draw. And just kind of guess that that's, that's what's going on inside there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a cobra head for the front of the snout. And then we're going to draw a couple of eyes, like that, and some teeth for fangs, and then I'm going to draw like the, like the cobra hood type kind of thing. And again, I'm just guessing because we can't see these toys, and that's what kind of sucks about this whole thing is they're hard to get right now. And so I'm going to draw some bottom fangs. And so I can't tell exactly what's going on with these pictures. So I apologize, but uh, this is all we've got to go by. But if nothing else, we got a cool looking, you know, uh, red ninja with, uh, with a, a cobra mouth, you know? That's, that's the best way to look at it. And if I'm wrong, well, you know, we, we got a new design. That's the best way to look at it, okay? Um, let's see, and so I'm gonna draw kind of a little bit of a crazy eye in there like that. 
I'm gonna draw his hood. Draw it like this. I'll kind of give it kind of a, a little point, you know? So I can draw the rest of his face inside there. This one, obviously, you can only see one side of it. So that's the only side you're gonna see over here. And now I'm gonna draw his hood. And so, we're gonna draw kind of a masked up hood. And um, bring it up to here. Now his head, he's got a headband. And we should draw that first. Let's go ahead and do the headband. Also give us uh, some start stop points so we'll know where we can we can uh, add extra detail or where we just start and stop basically because of the uh, other parts of the, uh, the hood okay and there is a Cobra up here in this but uh, I'm gonna do that with color I'm not gonna worry about that with uh, with the Sharpie right now um, let's draw like a it's got kind of a, a hood kind of like a, a Cobra type kind of big big old eye thing like that so now I can draw the top of his head and so it's just basically uh let's see let me double check on this real fast yeah just the top of his hood top of his hood top of his head which I guess is the top of his hood right because it is a, a hood that he's wearing and I'm gonna start to thicken it up a little bit too because once I switch over to this sharpie you're only gonna be able to see so much so I'm gonna kind of uh, um, get ready for how it's gonna look only because I've done it before and so I know what's gonna happen if you're working with pencil you don't have to do it like I said I, I know where it's going so that's why I want to do that all right so now I'm gonna switch over and go to the uh, um, the big sharpie but I've got his hand holding the sword in front of him, so we kind of need to do that first, okay? So, kind of bear with me as to what we're gonna do here because I gotta draw what's in front first and then we can draw what's behind. So, I'm gonna draw his hand, like this. His thumb is in front. And then I gotta draw, I wanna just go ahead and draw the knuckles. Okay, that's all I want to do first, and then I'm going to add some detail so you see where we are. Um, but, uh, you know, it's kind of a, a little bit of a um, uh, faith, you know, have, have faith in where we're going with this, you know? Alright, so... Okay, so I, I brought the, the ruler out. Because what I want to do is draw the blade straight across. And to do that, yeah, I thought it would be better if we do it here with this with this sharpie. Or with the with the with the ruler. Okay. Alright, so I kind of check where my sketch is to see what I did there. I'm just gonna follow it basically. handle out like that. Same thing with the other side. I'm just going to kind of eyeball what looks to me, what looks right. And then something like that. That ought to work. I'm also taking into account the thickness of the Sharpie. Like how much for when I, when I draw the side. So, there we go. That's the edge. And uh, that's going to be our, our, our sword, basically. Like to here and add an edge here. Just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And there you go. So now I can draw everything behind that. And that's what you got to do. You got to draw what's in front first, and then you can draw what's in back. So he's got like this this big old collar piece hood thing that's up. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that. You see how thick this is? That's what I was talking about. That's why I wanted to match how it was going to look. 
because of the way it goes. Okay. Clean up a few lines here. And a little bit of, of uh, creativity there. Okay, so let's draw. Let's see, since this hand is up, let's go ahead and just do it. Let's just draw. Um, there's a wrist like that. There's a forearm with uh, his little, like, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, protective um, shield piece. Um, um, gauntlet. Gauntlet, that's the word I'm looking for. And we're going to draw just some creases and folds. Because this part is cloth. that okay and he does have some belts and stuff like that going across him so uh, oh and also this is a shoulder piece I forgot about that but the belt uh, is is you know what holds all his other stuff on is in front so let me draw that first and come down here and do like a like a like a front um, I guess connector that's the best way to say it I know I've got from the sketch alone. I could tell that it goes through here, and I can bring it in and do something like this. Just, just another kind of extra detail. Uh, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just exactly that extra detail. You know, there's just so much stuff in here that sometimes it's almost too much to draw. So I just kind of like to play around with. with like well if it's got a connector here and it does that it does this you know that's that's uh, all this special detail that's in it you know okay so yeah yeah so his his chest piece here we're gonna say that the armor goes out like this comes in and it goes down to a little V in the front and it goes over that one so it's gonna go back that way and uh, again, there's a lot of stuff in there, so I'm gonna try to play around with what I can with uh, some specific detail. But again, it's almost too much to draw. So I'm just gonna kind of play around with here's some stuff like this. And there's a piece up like this, you know. And what else can we do? A lot of it's gonna be uh, hidden with color too. So I'm not too worried about all that detail, but just something like that, just to give it a little bit of extra. Plus, plus, it's just getting too messy in there. You know, there's so much stuff in there; it's almost too much. So color will help separate it, and uh, we'll say this one comes out like this. Since this is the shoulder piece. Color will separate it, and I'm not going to worry too much about all the crazy detail because look at how just it's just getting all uh, too 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 much. It's getting to be too much. So. Let's add some of the stuff he's got here. All right, and I can add. Well, let's let's finish up his shoulder since that's, that's all I can see over here. Let's go ahead and, and do like that. So now that whole side is done. You know, we don't have to worry about anything else. We're gonna draw the arm down here, and he's got a shoulder piece or a bicep piece, I guess. But I don't want to draw through, so I just want to make sure I draw that first, and then I can draw the arm coming down. Okay, so same thing, he's got a uh, little arm protector right there. Let's see, so his arm's gonna come through here like this. A little long, but you know what, that's all right. That's okay, because uh, because we're, we're, we're giving it a, a creative style. He's more, he's more a, uh, a, what do you call it? Showpiece, you know what I mean? There we go. Uh, same thing, let's add just a little bit of, might as well, right? There we go. All right, so this hand, basically you're gonna see this, but there's no, not much detail you can really see because of the, uh, the side coming through and the way his hand is just going to be positioned. So I'm going to draw the thumb like that and there's the back of the finger, the knuckles, 
into the finger like that. Now, the side's coming through, so I'm going to do something like this just to kind of give myself a start-stop point. So now I can draw the edge of it like that into the hand. But see, there's not much you can really do because it's, it's being held right there and that's all you can see. You're basically looking at, if you don't look at that, you're looking at just a blob of a, of a hand, you know. You know this is a hand, but you know, there's only so much you can do. We're kind of getting away with that. Okay, so let's draw the rest of that side. Like this, and we're going to follow the handle and let's go ahead and use a ruler since it's here. I'm going to bring it to a point kind of like this. Same thing on this side. Keep it nice and thin, and I'll bring it to a point at the top. Okay. So, I'll t what I was talking about in the sketch, too, is that the unfortunate part is we don't have these toys yet. I mean, maybe some of you do, but and distribution has just been so terrible and hard for these things that I'm, I'm hoping things will change as the holidays come and they make them more readily available. Nobody knew about this pandemic. Nobody knew what was going to happen, so nobody was prepared for this. So hopefully things are going to get better. That's all I can say. Okay, so we're going to connect it right there. Okay, and so now he's got a bunch of packs and pockets and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm not going to worry too much about all that. We're just going to kind of come down here, down to where his belt's going to be. And I'm going to give him a big old belt. It's going to have a, uh, a, a sword sheath right here. Maybe something like this. That's where his sword was. Like that. And um, a bunch of other packs. You know, just to add stuff onto a cool utility belt. Like that. And so now, again, I'm going to add on just some extra little... It looks like he's got on a bunch of packs and stuff like that, but I'm just going to kind of do something like this just to accentuate the, uh, the look of his, like, almost like patched together looking uh, suit here. Also, like I was talking about before, though, it's getting messy. It's getting to be too much in that, uh, you know, maybe maybe it's better if we don't add tons and tons of this detail. It's cool for the figure, but as far as our drawing goes, you know, it might be a little bit too much. You know, it looks, see, see how much, especially with the sword going across. As a drawing, it's too, too messy. There's way, way too much in there. So color will help bring some of that out, but just telling you, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and finish up his belt. Again, it's got some cool pack detail stuff in there. I can't wait to get one of these figures, really. It's, that's really what it comes down to. It's gonna be really awesome and fun and G.I. Joe-ish, and Cobra-ish, and it's going to be awesome. Alright, so he also has like this, this um, middle piece. That's like a loincloth, but it looks like, uh, like, like a, what do you call it, snake skin. So I'm not going to worry about the texture in there because, again, that's a take snake skin texture that was just going to take hours to do. And if you got time, go for it. But uh, for this drawing, not going to do it. Okay, so now we're going to draw his legs, and it's pretty much just going to be cloth with a couple of knee pads. So this one's going to come out here like this. And there's going to be your knee pad, something like that. The crotch is right there, so it's coming into his knee. Got to connect that knee pad down to his pants. We're gonna do that right there. That's the uh, where the the pants are tucked into the boots. And the 
pads just look it just looked like a big old nothing too crazy. Okay. Alright, so let's do the other leg and then we'll do the, the boots together, okay? Um the same thing, just cloth down. That's where his knee's gonna be. This side's coming down here. Can't really see because of the sheath. Alright. Let's see. You know, I like to draw my creases and folds there, so that's what I gotta add. Now we're just gonna draw some boots. Nothing too crazy. The hard stuff's done. Now we're doing just the easy stuff. The, the shin guards and the boots. So regular old boots with some shin guards in front. So I'm gonna come up here and do one of these. Now I can draw what's behind it. Basically, just a boot, but there's only so much you can see anyway, you know? And let's see, we'll draw like a little connector back there. This one's going back there. Just to kind of show that it's wrapped around. It's got uh, a connector that does uh, um, well, connect it. <laughs> I'm trying to come up with a better word, but that's exactly what it does. It just connects it. So the front of the boot has a little protector. Everybody protects those laces. Apparently in every game or movie or comic book, shoelaces are very uh, vital and everybody has to protect them. So there's always a, I'm just kidding. I know, I'm sure it's for kicking and stuff like that, you know, but it's always funny that it's just like, well, you got great protected shoelaces. All right. Okay, and this one's more of a side view. So I'm just gonna come down here. And the little protector. Oh, and here you'll be able to see the straps. We'll do that. Heel just a little bit. Something like that. Now, let's just add a little extra detail and we'll be done. We'll just kind of make it make it our own. And there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is a Cobra Red Ninja from G.I. Joe. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. Just have fun and make it your own because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.